Yeah, what's good with y'all, man? I want to welcome you guys to a new NBA 2K21 next gen video, bro. Today, I'm building a freaking beast, bro. Listen, y'all don't understand what I had to go through to get this intricate gameplay. This is Xbox Series X, NBA 2K21. It's a lot going on. It's a lot of moving parts, bro. A lot of moving parts. Shout out to the homie Trey. Make sure you guys check out his channel in the link in the description. Go to my channel. Check out the whole sales squad. Subscribe to everybody, bro. Turn on noties. We listen 2k21 gonna be crazy i'm gonna be streaming on facebook every day at least eight hours a day i'm gonna be putting up my career gameplay part gameplay warehouse gameplay event gameplay 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 but it's gonna be crazy but listen before we get into this creation i just want to show you all the nba 2k booting screen is that cool like you know they promised us that these booting screens was going to be crazy they're going to be insane so i want to see what this boot screen looks like and how long it's going to take set the timer Zion was up there for a little bit, but all in all, the booting screen was it was it was pretty fast. You know what I'm saying? I was checking my watch, like I don't know, <laughs> I don't know. But also, they said that the boot screens between modes and stuff like that were supposed to be a lot faster too. So we'll test that out at a later date. But let's hop into this creation. First and foremost, I told you guys I was gonna be creating a beast. So I am creating a power forward build. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. All the people out there in the comments like, bro, we came here for the guards. We came here for the guards, the dribbles, the, the animations, the shooting, ah! Listen, bigs need love too. Now, when it comes to the body settings, I've decided to make my player 6'10". Um, I, like I was saying, I was playing with all of these creations early on, but I felt like 610 gave me the best of both worlds. Now I know what you guys are thinking. A 83 driving dunk on a 610 build? This build stink, Carter. You gotta wait for the wingspan. You guys have to be very, very careful on how you make your build. Now, I know a lot of creation builds out there. A lot of people always saying, make your build like mine if you want to play like me i'm not going to do that this year i'm going to leave it up to you guys on how you want to intricately change up a few things and all of that but for me i felt like 610 and 225 pounds worked perfectly now the reason why i'm fluctuating between the weight is so that i can show you guys what you want to put on your player because i already know all the uh the points and everything like that but it makes it easier for you guys to see now, if you need to pause the video, go ahead. But I made my boy seven, eight wingspan, man. Seven, eight wingspan is crazy. That is a 95 dunk on that man. That is a 95 dunk on that man. Did you see his midi in his three pointer? It's about to be a crazy year. Now let's go through my, my player potential for a moment. Remember when I told you guys I made my player 6'10 and I maxed out his wingspan? It was for only one reason. I needed that Hall of Fame Intimidator. Now, of course, 2K said, hey guys, we're gonna nerf Hall of Fame Intimidator. It's not gonna be that crazy of a badge this year. That's been a god darn lie ever since this badge came out. Hall of Fame Intimidator is everything. If you're a big out there on the court and you can't intimidate anyone on the court, you're worthless. You need to be able to have that Hall of Fame Intimidator, man. So now I know you guys are looking up at the uh, finishing badges and you're saying to yourself, hey, man, you're big. Where's your standing dunk? Go ahead and wait for that. The reason why I'm not putting on my stand up dunk just yet is because I want to see what I'm working with. And I max out all of my defense just to do that. If you do max out defense on this particular build, you get 29 badge points for your potential. Now, as far as the badges go, 
you do need a badge legend. I'm hoping that there will be some type of um, smart analytical team out there that puts all of the badge icons, what their names are, what they help with. So you can actually look at a badge legend while you're creating your build because you can hover over the badges, yeah, but nobody wants to do all of that. They just wanna work with the attribute points to actually build things up. Now, another thing, I am one of those people that Agent talks about. Now, Agent Double Zero made his creation video about his sharpshooter, right? And what I ended up wanting to do was make a, bit, a build about a big, right? So in my mind, I'm one of those all around guys. I'm one of those guys who say, man, I want my builder to be able to do a little bit of everything. I want him to be on good on the whole platform. I want to make sure that he can stop, he can defend, he can play make, he can shoot, he can slash. But sometimes you do have to know your role and know your position. And I've decided that playmaking is not a part of this build. Now, of course, there are people out there that say, hey, I want to have at least quick first step on gold. I'm gonna tell you guys right now, if you try to create this build and try to get playmaking badges to get quick first step on gold, you will lose the battle. You will lose the battle every single time. Not only will you waste badge points for nothing, you ain't gonna be able to put on no shooting. Now, let me tell you guys about this shooting, right? So I told myself, you know what? Let me go ahead and put up my slashing to see where I go. All the fame badges come about, put on my close shot. And I told myself, you know what? I'm looking a little crazy in one category. I got 29 badge points on um, defensive, 22 badge points on slashing, and I have zero badge points on shooting, yet I can get some Hall of Fame and gold badges in that shooting category. So we have to take from somewhere because I told myself as a player this year, I would not take away from my physicals at all. The physicals will stand the way they are because honestly, I, I would say that the physicals are the third most important thing about creating your player. You know what I mean? Because we already know it's all about height and wingspan and some people would say weight but i would say physicals over weight because you can manipulate that after you put your weight up you know what i mean you don't have to go in with weight and be like oh i need i need to make sure my weight's right no because once you put your weight where it is everything else will go into it so i told myself you know what i'm not going to take away from physicals let me go ahead and take away from defense because it just makes the most optimal sense i don't need 29 defensive badges i feel like no like there are some builds out there though that would say man i need 31. you don't need 31. and the reason for that is it just doesn't make optimal sense for it now of course i will lose out on some things that i may have wanted to be that all-around defensive player which is things like perimeter defense you know what i mean perimeter defense is really really something high on my list that i say every build should have but in all honesty bigs won't be out on the perimeter that much unless they're helping their guard and really we only show we don't fully switch with guards at all so if you're fully switching out here you're losing fast but also i have to manipulate other things and i said to myself i don't need still you want to know why i don't need still because i got a seven eight wingspan even if i don't have a high still rating if i reach in the lane for passes I'm probably 80% of the time going to get that steal anyway. Most bigs don't really use the steal rating anyway. So guess what I've done? I've given myself 11 badge points in the shooting category. Not only did I do that, I have an 81 mid range and a 78 three point shot. That is higher than a lot of the perimeter defending uh, shooters or the two way uh, sharps or the two way shot creators from current gen. And, and in my personal experience, Pain Beast was going crazy all current gen. So this new Pain Beast is gonna be running rampant through the city. You hear me? Crazy. Now, of course, this is where things get real, real tricky. Now that we've come to the final portion of the creation to choose my takeover, I told myself, yeah, I'm a big, that's cute and all, but I don't wanna do big things. I want to do things like a slasher, like a shooter. So my two takeovers that I'm going to be choosing is finishing and shooting. 
Now, as far as my slashing takeover, which is my primary, it will be the one that I want to get first. It's the one where I want to make a freaking mockery of people. I want to put people on posters. I want to make sure they remember my name at the end of the game. If I get my takeover, not matter of fact, not even if, when I get my takeover, because being a big, you get so many points towards your takeover just for playing defense, just for rebounding. So it's all about finishing moves. Now, as far as my shooting, I had to go with spot of precision, mainly because limitless range won't really do anything for me. I'm gonna be sitting in one spot the entire time on offense if I'm not holding my nuts up there for a screen. So I'm gonna go ahead and create hot spots there and make sure when I get my badges, corner specialist, catch and shoot, dead eye, green machine, range instead, all of those badges will be there and a few of them will be on silver, but we gonna make it work. Now, it says that I have created a paint beast. What paint beast out there do you know can shoot that rock though? NBA 2K21 is going to be a completely different experience. Now, I'm not talking about gameplay and all of that. I'm saying the way that some of these builds are gonna be coming out, you won't be able to leave dudes open. If it's anybody out there that's creating builds and won't have a lick of shooting, something is wrong with you because i just created a build that can defend slash and shoot if you can't defend slash and shoot as a big i don't know why you're out there if you're a big and you're saying i need i need 22 playmaking badges sit yo man sit down the corner's over there bro go sit down man you know what i'm saying lead us to the bigs man but listen if you guys enjoyed this video make sure you guys hit that like button I appreciate all the love, man. We on our way to 650,000 subscribers. Insane. Also, I'm doing a giveaway right now on Twitter and Instagram. If you're a rapper and you got bars, make sure you guys check out my Twitter and my Instagram. Check out the latest posts. And $100 NBA 2K21 on Next Gen Mamba Edition and a beat from the producer that's in the giveaway with me. That's, that's fire. So if you got a couple bars, let me know, man. But listen, I'm gonna holla at you guys in the next video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'm going to see y'all next time. Peace.